Hi everyone, my name is Molly. I am a wedding photographer based in Atlanta, Georgia with a propensity to find any flight deal I possibly can. Today's video is all of four tips to maximize your getting ready photos with maybe a shorter amount of time. Getting ready photos are a great way to start the story of your wedding day. It's a great way to show some of the details that go into your wedding day and just a lot of the pretty things. It's also the slowest part of the day that you're genuinely just hanging out with the people that you've chosen to be with you the entire day and people who have actually said yes to being with you the entire day. Documenting the impromptu dance parties and the ugly, not really ugly, just happy ugly tears <laughs> as your mama buttons you up into your dress are precious memories that deserve to be documented. Sometimes our photography timeline doesn't cover as much of the getting ready time as we would prefer just due to travel times, just due to budget constraints with the amount of hours covered in your package, or something else that we can't predict at all. Either way, these four tips will help you maximize your getting ready photos when you don't have the most robust amount of time. Tip number one, keep bags and clutter hidden. Now this can be in a whole different room, or you can just tuck it all into one corner if it's a smaller getting ready space or if you only have one room to get ready in. I like to recommend to my couples that they consolidate all of their stuff into one area. Again, whether that's in a separate room or just in a corner somewhere, it just makes the whole getting ready room much more, A, much more photogenic, and B, just look cleaner and less chaotic. By putting all that stuff away before your photographer gets there helps save time. It prevents me from having to rush through photos because I didn't have enough time or not get to some photos that you wanted. Like for instance, robe photos, because we literally just ran out of time because we were moving bags. Tip number two, have your photographer get there when everyone is in their final hair and makeup touch-ups. Okay, first of all, most ladies do not want photos taken when they're fresh-faced and tangled hair, myself included. Having your photographer come there when everyone's in final touch-ups just maximizes the getting ready, actually just the makeup photos. When I say final touch-ups, I mean lashes and lips and like final spritz of the hairspray. That's when you should schedule your photographer to arrive because by then everyone looks beautiful and contoured and stunning. Not that they didn't look stunning before, but they look amplified. This is a great way to still get those dramatic makeup shots like lipstick shots or the like the spritz, the hairspray spritz when it's like all that kind of stuff. Having them come towards the tail end when they're going to be doing that stuff over and over anyways is perfect. Personally, I think photos of lips and lashes, aka mascara and lip gloss, aka lipstick or stain or whatever you choose to do on your wedding day, I find those much more attractive and much sexier than foundation photos because foundation, before it's all seamless and dotted in, it just looks like a hot mess express because you just like if you have more makeup on. <laughs> Actually, not war makeup because it is makeup, but like war paint because it's just dab 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 everywhere. Tip number three, keep your bridesmaids and your groomsmen hanging out in the room with you the entire time your photographer is there. You've asked these people to share your entire wedding day with you. They are the chosen ones. Make sure that they at least just hang out in the room when the photographer gets there. Just hang out, sit down, pull up a chair, Relax, crack some jokes, shed a few tears. That's all we're asking for there. I can't even tell you how many little lost sheep of bridesmaid or groomsmen that I've had to chase down because we're trying to get a robe photo or because we're trying to just get a hanging out photo, just where everyone's around in the background, just hanging out, shooting the breeze, and we've lost a sheep. Don't know where they went. Nobody knows where they went. By having them just lingering around in the room, helps capture those candid photos that we all want anyways. We're gonna get some photos, we're gonna be laughing, we may be crying, who knows? We'll see. <laughs> like, clients always tell me that they want, they just want candid photos. They want candid photos that tell their day. Let me tell you something, that is our goal too. We want those as well, but it's really hard to have candid photos when the little lost sheep of your wedding party are not there. So just have them hanging out in the room. Makes everything easier, makes it more efficient. I love efficiency, that is what runs my life. Tip number four, have a toast. Speaking of candid moments, this is a great facilitator of some candid moments, whether you're in your robes or in your whatever guys wear, they don't really wear robes. They're like 
casual clothes, or after everyone's gotten all gussied up. Have a couple people give a toast, or just if your best man or your matron of honor wants to tell that really embarrassing story that you're super grateful that they did not share in front of every single wedding guest because it was spring break. So to recap, tip number one, keep your bags and clutter to the side or in a corner or in a whole different room. Number two, have your photographer come when your hair and makeup is almost done. Number three, have your wedding party, bridesmaids, groomsmen, you know, I'm the same. Just keep them in the room. Just have them hanging out. Just tell them to hang out. Please don't leave. I don't want it to find you. And number four, have a toast. Have some cheers and cheers and tears. Literally, that's an entire, that's like a summary of every wedding day. Cheers and cheers. That's all we're going to get. I love both. I hope these four tips help maximize your getting ready photos if you don't have the most robust amount of time in your timeline for them, or if your budget did not allow for you to add extra hours to cover the getting ready time. Let me know down below in the comments what your favorite types of getting ready photos are, whether it is the bride getting in her dress, the groom having his father help him put his bow tie on, or if it's whether they're getting their lipstick put on, or perfume, or anything. Let me know in the comments below, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye!